Welcome back to my channel. I'm here very Tarsi. If you don't know what that is, my fashion brand, African Print Luxury. Today, the main focus is going to be turning me from a uh, bum. I just wanted to get my makeup done, get my hair done, make myself feel good for the night. Just self care pampering. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, and there's going to be a hashtag coming up later on in the video so feel free to comment the hashtag of the day below once you reach that point in this video i'm going to be showing you how i prep my hair on my wig head because i'm here for the girlies who don't know how to do their hair on their head so i do my hair on the mannequin and then after i install it and hope that it looks as good as it looks on the mannequin on me Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you got the size, I know, I know, I know. Cause you got the size, I know, I know, I know. Cause you got the size, you got that body, and I'm not gonna lie. You had me down on my knees, every day had to talk aside. I'm in that eight and then one of those with a different fire. I try to pay all your loans off and copy goes down. I had to stand too close to the city, you act like you're trying to live this life. I should have moved your way too close before I caught you all this hype. You wanna be my number one? You're not acting like the main thing. I let you pay my number two. You barely made a second. I should've put you somewhere where no one can find you. Last year, I didn't speak with nothing around you. Can't you text the dollars, text the street on a different environment? You got the size. I know, I know, I know. You got the size. I know, I know, I know. You got the size. Hey, self-control has never been a thing. Don't think it a help if there's a ring with a rock in it. Where I'm from, they serve the soda thing. You come from a city where there's lean with the rocks in it. How the fuck you keep so many secrets? How you pour it vegan but still be filming me again? So, I'm very well moisturized now. I just want to do my brows off camera. I'll be right back. So, I'm just gonna put in like stickers of the products on the side of the screen. First things first, I always spray my face with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with my Akira Beauty Foundation 
I like to go a little bit lighter in this foundation just because it gets darker when it dries and it also dries very fast so I like to ap apply and around my lips also because of the hyperpigmentation there so what I do is I staple it into my skin as you can see tap 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 no rubbing <laughs> I look I look okay person you guys like it blends well so let's just move I don't know if I should un tie my hair but I think I would like it better if I did because oh you guys I'm not gonna that ties as far to die you guys please ignore the list I'm not a professional but like let's just continue for now okay so I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced concealer in cookie I'm gonna mix it with my foundation a little bit just because I want it to be a little bit darker the Too Faced concealer in mocha has been gone. I've checked Sephora, I've checked everywhere, I've checked online. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know that everybody's that shaped, but I can't find it. So I've been mixing my cookie and um, I'm supposed to use the cookie like that, but like for now, just for the base, because I've noticed that for a more seamless like highlight, con highlight and contour, whatever, it's better to have a medium shade rather than just going straight like all bright on the eye, in my opinion. So like I try to build up with with my mocha this is not mocha but like it looks like mocha right now and this is basically it. i'm going to do the other side too i like the proper face lift okay that's a little bit too dark so i'm going to add more cookie i'm going to also put some my eyelid because you know i always i consume there and I also, you guys, I want to invest in the. I call everything invest now because I don't want to waste my money. So when I say, I, I call it invest. If I need something, I'm like, oh, I want to invest in a new sunscreen because I'm investing in my beauty. I'm investing in me. So I call it an investment. Every purchase is an investment in my opinion. But let me continue. So this is how I apply. I usually use the um, concealer brush, but like. Because I'm mixing it with this, I didn't want to use that, so I just use the flat brush. So, so what I do, this is like the basic, basic, <laughs> basic highlight and contour shade. So I'm still going to go brighter because I want a bright under eye. I want a very flawless glam. Hopefully, it's not how I want. I'm going to really try and recreate because I look too. Because that eye look was just too bomb. It was too bomb. So this is the cookie, but it's not looking as bright anymore. I don't even know what's happening. But um, this is cookie. I don't know if it's showing. Okay. This is cookie. So I put it on the sides of my nose. I just like to focus my brightness in the center of my face. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to contour my cheek. You guys, I look so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> I use the Fenty Beauty Expresso Matchstick to contour my to bronze my face up i don't contour it too deep but basically i'm going to be using the same brush i use the same brush for almost everything but for the sake of this video i'm going to try and switch it up a little bit but i use one brush and it comes out seamlessly the brush doesn't hold that much product when you're done like unless it's immediately so what i do is rub my hand um to remove the product and it goes off and i do the next step so basically this is what i do and then i apply it you know i got this from tiktok though but like i like the seamlessness <laughs> of the application because see it's there it's there but it's not looking harsh so this is what i do first before i add some blush but yeah it's showing but it's not that deep you me? something is wrong but i'm just i feel like makeup really makes me happy and the fact that i'm filming just makes me happier because i've not filmed in a minute this is, I hope I'm applying this little because I'm looking at the camera too much. But yeah, I think this is a bit showing. I don't like it too much. I like it like I like that soft makeup look. So I like all my application. I like everything to be very seamless. As seamless as possible. But I also want um the results to be there. Like I want to feel like face is chiseled. So okay. So just add some there I'm not necessarily really trying for it to show but I just do it for doing sake and knowing that I did it I'm also going to add on the edges of my face because I've noticed that I don't bronze and when I see other people's makeup that I really like they usually bronze and this girl in particular that I'm trying to 
couple of makeup. <laughs> she bronzes. So I'm gonna try bronzing and adding a little bit of blush because I feel like I don't like bronzing. I don't like it too dark around there. So I'm gonna bronze for the sake of this video. I'm gonna bronze even the edges of my hair, of my frontal. <laughs> So cute. I think it's because my hair is done that I look like a human being because I be looking crazy in this process. So next thing, I'm gonna try and blend out my under eye and then add one more bright concealer. So it blends out without taking too much product from the place basically. Well, it's a very dense brush, it's real techniques. So I'm just gonna take this all the way to the back because I really want it to go there, right above my contour. And I just close my eyes so that everything just blends with the concealer on my eyelid. Can you see even the color this? I can't just see it's giving skin. Like it's giving skin, please. I don't like putting too much on my nose just because. I don't know, I hate when hair looks a little bit ashy on the side. I don't really like highlighting my forehead too much. But I'm gonna go back into it when I'm doing my nose. So this is how it looks blended. I'm gonna go in with my Reposition Concealer. This is how it looks. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply that right beside my nose so that I can do like reverse and what is it reverse? Inverse, inverse contouring. Is it called inverse contouring or reverse cont? Re reverse contouring. I don't remember. For either way, let's fucking go. So. So I have to be enough for me. I'll try my best. She also went in here so that it made hair bright. I'm actually going to use this as a primer as well for my eyelid because I want to do her look so bad. Okay, I look crazy, but yeah, you get me. This is the vibe she gave me as well. Okay, let me just blend this out first and I'm gonna go back in and do my nose. So she just she used a small brush, but I don't really want to use a small brush because it's not seamless. Like I'm not used to using small brushes. Whenever I use it, it always looks weird. So I'm just gonna tap it. I tap it lighter when I'm doing it so it stays in the position. Okay, yeah, it brightened a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is highlight my nose so she did it very tiny so i'm just gonna put my put on my hand so that see my hand my hand is like a, it's like a palette it's different things going on i'm gonna just use my flip my flat brush is very slim so i want to try and get a defined line on my nose my one job to make it straight is not straight so can you see? It's not straight. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a small brush to blend it out. I don't remember if this is what she did, but this is how I imagine blending it out. So it's a little bit blended out. I'm gonna go back in with my foundation. That's what she did. I've been doing it of late too, so it's not like to me, to me, you get me? As a makeup artist, <laughs> you know, I know the tricks too. But I'm gonna use it on the sides so that it's not harsh. That's why I didn't use a contour stick. This one is just more subtle, in my opinion. I'm gonna take that all the way up to my brows. As you're watching, I'm gonna put it here because my nail looks not the same shape as hers. But it would do. I look so pretty. I'm so sorry. I just had to acknowledge that because I'm looking so. Uh, I used the NYX Powder Puff Lippy, so it's actually for lips, but obviously a girl had to improvise. It's very pigmented as well, so I'm gonna apply it now. So I just put some dots and I build up so that because it's better to build up than for it to be too, you know, blushy. But that girl, she used a pink blush. I'm thinking of investing in that and trying that out because it looks so fucking good on her. So. It's basically four dots, but I didn't do it well the first time, so that's why I added extra layers. 
can you see just one job you cannot your eyes is not straight so as you can see it is super red so i use the same brush can you see same brush i just rubbed the excess on my hand can you see my hand there's going to be a lot of stuff going on by the end of this because after i add, apply the brush if it's too much brush i apply it i put the extra here so this is go in my ghetto cart looking too red so I'm gonna so I apply the brush it goes all the way back the, my inspo for my blush is the doll can or something like that let's just carry on can you see this blush like like getting to it what getting to it like I didn't mind so they crazy what then the rest on this side because it's looking crazy for too long. It still look like this side. So this side is looking like bubblegum. It's giving help. Oh, I see. I just have to rub extra on my hand. <laughs> so I might go back in with the bright color again just because I want my hand under eye to be a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna go back in. Okay, this is more than this side, so <laughs> it's just blend. So Blending just keep adding on top basically and blending the edges. So my concealer is off on this side, so I'm gonna add some more because I wanted it to be up there. You get me? So I'm gonna go back with my cookie sharp sharp. Just because I'm not done blending with my what's it called brush. I'm not done blending with my but I'm not using this brush to, this brush to blend in the meantime. That's why I don't apply my powders until I'm done with my creams. That's has a power tip. Hey, can you see? Nonsense. It's called this stupid hair. I cannot blend well. So, it's more or less even. This place is a little bit harsher, but it's okay. It's not as if it's not too undy. So, I'm going to just put some excess around my forehead because I want it to be a little bit very zay. Very zay. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with this brush. I'm going to go in with my Chanel powder. And then. So I have just put some guys yeah, I don't know if you change my makeup or whatever but I love it I love it so fucking much I just go in dust excess she used like a pink um this thing so I'm, I'm thinking of investing in one just to try it so, yeah I just dip it in and I added a little bit of blush my Dior backstage blush is very pink just it's cause just because it's a little bit crushed, so I just crushed it a little bit and added it with the powder. So I don't know if that makes it brighter, but so I'm really dusting it because I'm scared. I don't know if the blush is showing. I hope the blush is in, but like either I'm going to still bake it, so it's actually fine. I look so pretty, you guys. I don't know if it's the hair, but anyways. So this thing I'll apply a bit more. I'm going to go back in with my Huda Beauty. Don't worry. Because I want it to be super bright, and this just ain't bright enough. Because <laughs> I do makeup for everybody, and I do my makeup, I do my makeup clients makeup with my with Chanel. You get like just just spoiling them anyhow. Can you see this blush? I don't know why the blush is really blushy in my opinion. I hope the boys hear me in this house, because they hear me shout, making noise, making bare noise out of nothing. So. I'm gonna go back to my Huda Beauty, my Huda Beauty in shade Banana Bread. Cause I've noticed that Huda Beauty makes your makeup way brighter. I feel like the Chanel is a very like translucent powder. This one is more of a highlighter. I'm going to use this powder puff just because it's my it's from the Chanel, but I've not used it in it forever. But like I want a very bright under eye today since I think the tutorial, and I know it does. It gives that. The tip to a bright under eye is baking and you have to bake with a very dry sponge. A beauty blender that is very dry, add powder on top of it, I promise you, it's giving that a lighter effect in my opinion. I just apply it that way. I just apply it all the way to the back because I really wanted to keep that. <laughs> you get me? I'm going to do what she did so on her own because she also baked underneath her blush but like I don't normally do that. I'm going to do that just for her sake, just because I'm trying to. Mimic her makeup. I'm going to bake underneath my blush as well. I 
um, what she did, she also went back in and then used her face powder to, to blend it. I'm going to do that for a while. Let me do my lips in the meanwhile. So I'm going to go back in with my um, Fenty Beauty matchstick in Express. So I'm going to use a flat brush to apply it. So I'm going to apply my around my, I'm going to overline my lip right now. You see that? Do you see the difference? Like my lips are already naturally that size. I just make it more obvious. And I've noticed you using contour in general, contour concealer, whatever to overlay your lips. It just leaves it lasting all day in my opinion. Look so fucking good. So I'm going to actually use my Dior Savage. This is Dior backstage blush. I'm just gonna take some and put it around because how she did hers, there was just this bare pink. So oh, the pink is showing. So I think I used the right pink. I don't know if it's looking the right color, but I'm trying to find a baby pink somewhere. I won't try this one. There's one pink here, but like I feel like it's too bright. So maybe if I blend it with the color that is already there. Okay. It's not that bad, but it's looking more of nude than pink now. So I'm going to add more blush. So she also did like a cat, not cat eye, but like, yeah, like it's a very siren type eyeliner. So I'm going to try her attempt that, but like I don't have the same eye shape as her, so I'm going to just see what I can do. I will just try my best to make it as slim and as like outwards as possible. So that's carry my mirror. Okay. I don't know if I got it, but it's looking very aggressive. Oh my god. I'm going to dust off the excess powder I'm also going to go back in on my nose but I don't really stress about a lot of things anymore because the results usually end up being the same it's there alright I'm going to go back in with my face powder MAC in NW45. I'm going to use like a blush brush. It's like a dense brush. I'm going to just use it to apply on all the places that I didn't apply. I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm going to add my birthmark. I'm just going to go in with my Kiss Me lip gloss. I also go in with my concealer because I like it a little bit brighter. So I go in with my Revolution Concealer in C4. The same concealer I used to make my eye, my under eye brighter just because it's the brighter concealer I have. And my makeup is basically done. All I need to add is highlighter, lip gloss, and lashes. Hey, what do you guys think? That was a lot. <laughs> I came out looking good. I like my makeup. Let me go up close so you guys can see how flawless this shit is. So this is the final look as you can tell of course I did my whole Kim K moment with the blow dryer I hope it comes out good actually but I hope you like this tutorial and if you want more make sure you subscribe turn on the post notification for more tutorials if you want to know how I got this set up head on over to my TikTok because I'm going to be posting a video showing how I set this up and the hashtag of this video is going to be hashtag bar. hashtag b a r b period this look is giving very much bar very much bad bitch so hashtag bar if you got this far in this video
I have you back with more motherfucking videos. Okay, girl. I'll see you later. Keep.